All right, this is the start of episode two for Atomic Heart, and we're gonna continue the search for Victor. Let's start up the let start up the session. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make this a series too. I wanna the on Dead Space. I wasn't really thinking straight with how I wanted to separate it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do just episodes like. Part one, part two, part three, just to keep it simple and more efficient. So this is part two of Atomic Heart. And I'm not getting run over by a trolley. Run! Oh, it's smokes, bro. I need to go in here. How did I get in here? I can't, there's no battery thing. Okay. Or can I go down here? Alright, I guess I can. Oh, I'm allowed to go in here. Sweet. Did I? Wait. Did I switch the sucker? Nope, I did not. Alright. Hey. Wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, comrade major. Hey, the quiz is over there. Fact, on the other side, there's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Yeah, but he just. I don't know, these robots are ruthless, bro. Shame, frostbite, knowledge, wait, what? Knowledge will break the chains of slavery. Interesting take. Hey, hey, hey! What took you so long? I'm so lonely. Uh huh. Like I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. <laughs> Stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Uh. Don't let her push you around. We have no time to waste. I'm good, girl. The guy, he wants to drive us apart. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. <laughs> Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes, yes. <laughs> punish me, master. Dominant <laughs> males. Oh, gross. <laughs> your defense system is active. Oh, God, bro. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. <laughs> That hurt! That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being... Almost. You got that right. Nora, bro, I... I when I get honestly, bro, she might have to be my favorite character in this off. game. I mean... Now I'm gonna rip something off. Damn it. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. She's... She has to be my first favorite character, and then it's Granny Xena, I believe. I like the Granny, too. And then Charles. I like Charles. Are you okay? Is everything ready? Did you pull it off? Pull Don't off. worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Ooh. Okay. It must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? Took him to the infirmary and then uh, I didn't know. I took him just let him bleed out. 
Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. Oh, she was in. She's she's a bad guy too. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I'm right behind you too. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up, Victor. What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor. The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to kill me. Save yourself. Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Warning. Is that your character? Yes, it is my character. Excuse me, bro. Hey, 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 hey. We can talk about this. I need to heal up again. Is my character. Okay. Yes. He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. No, Otherwise, uh, Petrov will escape. I'm pretty sure that's what my character is named. Down again. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but character Schnauf. I really hope that Nora doesn't betray me, because that's going to be so upsetting. But I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. You good, bro? Never mind, you're not good. Okay. <laughs> so, do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. There we go. First try, boys, first try. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. 
You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well in that cases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Hey, hey, but I wouldn't mind if he's dead. All right, let me just. Fading data. Hey, hey. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? She doesn't want to talk dirty to me. Whoa. Pause. Recipe required. Can I upgrade? For once, she's not talking to me, dirty. Okay. I, I don't know, bro. That's a great question. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop. And experimental materials leaked out. That's Ooh. actually good for us. That guy ran over. Oh, there we go. I got stuck, but how am I supposed to get out of there? Oh, I have eight of them. Okay, cool.
Honestly, bro, I was a little disappointed when she was talking nice to me. It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed, it is. <laughs> Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. This is the Luna. A kind of... Once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them, you eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. Oh, it's over here, of course. Hello. <gasps> oh, blueprint unlocked. Let's go. Although I'm not really using weapons a lot. Surprisingly. I would definitely take the not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There it is. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes. Scold me. Punish me. I was a bad girl. Strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't, and do you like it, sugar? Instead of bullets, energy weapons consume your gloves energy through cable. Energy, SMG. I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, would you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself, hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. This is a pistol? Okay. Well, I'm not really happy about it. I thought it was going to be a SMG or something, but... Oh well. Charles. This big guy I talk crazy. <laughs> Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithm... Is so what? I've got one. You are now observing the Luna Memorial. I've got another one. The Soviet Lunar Program, the USSR's first major victory in its open-ended uh, space done. exploration mission. I think it worked. Manufactured by I think so too.
Whoa. Oh, I actually, I'm really enjoying this game. I might have to buy it. Like, no cap, I might have to buy this game. I I'm pretty happy it's free, but... Oh, no. No, Radiant. I I'm going to continue streaming. I'm going to continue streaming, but I'm just going to separate the streams and sections. So when I'm going to edit them, they're going to come out as episode 1, episode 2, all that stuff. This big brain time. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Specifically, the pioneering first five by sealing them into five capsules. They are now kept for posterity as a memorial to Soviet science. Damn. I'm just watching cartoons in this game. Looks like Goofy, it really does, right? Okay. <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round. How you doing, Radiant? How you doing, bro? Were you in the Were you in the stream when I said it's just the end of? Critters, they're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Like I was saying, were you, were you part of the stream when I was saying this can be end of episode one? Episode I was I was just doing that for my my sake. Happening, but okay. Oh, are you alive, bro? Yeah. Ooh, my man was charging at me. Radiant, this game is free on Game Pass, bro. If you want to try it out for yourself, I definitely do recommend it. Excuse me. All right, let's check. Let's test out this bad boy out.
Whoa! Yo, these guys remind me of, like, the robots movie. The, that dude that was flying. You guys, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Bro, did I have to shoot with my shotgun, bro? Here we go. Dude, can you like chillax for a second, bro? Damn, bro. Is that all of them? I think so. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Amplify the modular upgrade to the electric magnetic unit. No. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name. So she's not really crazy right now. It's only when I need to upgrade my, my stuff. have enough resources. Okay. Weapon aeronautics. Use energy weapons, guns, and melees wisely in order to activate your resources. I mean, I might as well just use the melee. Yeah. Oh, whoa, bro. First try, boys. First try. EMP generator. Okay. Interesting.
Ben genç ya. Thank you for the lift. Here we go. Excuse me, who the hell is gonna fire at me, bro? Well, screw you guys. Yes, they're so annoying. Oh, hey there, I didn't see you there. Come on. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Three days later. Oh my gosh, bro. I am not good at this. Why does this game have to have puzzles? thousand years later uh, come on. oh let's go <laughs> let's go bro <laughs> this big brain let's go first try boys first try Wait, wait, wait. Where did my thing go? It's right, right here. Okay, cool. My man's doing a freaking wheelie. Let's go, bro. Where is it? Where's the freaking...
Okay, there it is. Up here. Oh, the other one's over there. Okay, hold on. isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Come on, bro. You guys you treat each other with some respect, bro. I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Is there like a safe station around here? Ah, it's hot as balls in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. Look at that. All right. Oh, hey, All right, there you go, bro. Helped you out. Whoa, this guy was seat posing. and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. Let me just eliminate these guys first. Okay, I found the opening.
boiler's too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. Can I just stick it in there? This shit to the boiler myself. Hey, hey, calm down, bro. I'm trying to think. thousand years later. Alright, that's going to be the end of episode 2. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. If you made it here, let me know how you think the episode went. And on the next episode, we will try to figure out how to cool down the boilers and continue from there.